This conference will now be recorded. Hi, good morning. I will start the session now. So last session we discussed about the how to work on the auto suggest drop downs. Here there are two types of drop downs you are going to find in applications. One is auto suggest drop down, second one is static drop down. Auto suggest drop down means where we can able to enter data and then based on key keyword. So it will display the related values from that we can select the values in general for this auto such drop downs we can use click method and send keys method we are going to use next one we have the working on static drop downs Static drop downs will have fixed values. From that, we can select the values. In general, for static drop downs, tag them will be select. Now, you see that if I go for the spicejet.com. Here we can enter the value, right? This has the value. But if I go for the Facebook.com, when I click on create new account, here it has the drop downs, but we can't enter the values, only we can select the values. Now, try to inspect the these elements. You can see what is the tag name is there. Select this element if we inspect. For this drop down also we have the select. Select. Okay, static drop downs tag name will be given as select. Okay, select the class. So, to work on this kind of static drop down, so in WebDriver library also, they given one class to you called select. Same tag name class they given, but here lowercase tag name starting, but here class name starts with uppercase. Right. Select class provided in WebDriver library, which has some methods to work on the static dropdown. To use those methods on static dropdown, we need to configure select class for the dropdown. So this element we need to configure to the select class. Then only we can able to use the required methods in that object. Now to configure select class to dropdown select object equal to new select of driver dot find element by dot locator name of locator value select object equal to new select of a driver dot find element by dot locator name of locator value following are the methods provided by select class select by visible text in this method we can select option in static drop down based on value which is visible in that drop down the syntax is obj dot select by visible text of value 
select by value in this method we can select option from static drop down based on value attribute of that option now see my here if i go for the month field if i expand that code in this drop down what are the values are visible to you okay based on we can able to select the values in saying that month here this is the values these are the visible text okay january february like this you know the visible text now here if you go value each option they given value attribute using this one also we can give it is not indexing <laughs> they're given in the string format okay string format they given okay next one we can go for the index based also we can specify to select the values index based also we can select so now the intro going to ask the question to you what is the difference between value and visible text value is an attribute for each option in the drop down visible text means is a value which is visible in that drop down third one select by index sometimes we can also select a value from drop down using index whereas index starts with a zero the syntax is obj dot select by index of number so write a program to select different months in facebook home page using index using visible text and value so how we can write this script In this package, new class I'm taking. Drop down demo three public static void min finish. First to initialize the browser. After initialize the browser, I want to click on the create new account link. But web driver we have to import the package. Chrome driver also we have to import the package. Then I go for the thread dot sleep. Thread dot sleep I am going to go because some delay will be there to open that pop-up window whenever you thread dot sleep we have to go for the add throws declaration we have to select oh, by also import package you know thread dot sleep add those declaration after that i want to work on that static drop down right now we have to configure that one for your select class select a month list equal to new select of driver dot find element by dot name what is the name for that element birthday month copy it paste birthday month now
input. Okay, now you select March using visible text using visible text i want to sell it how we can go for that so month list dot select by visible text for the text you can see march means this is the one so already March is there, this month is March and then I will go for the October subjects. October. For our visibility purpose, what I want to do? I want to wait some time. Set dot sleep. Four thousand milliseconds. After that, to select To select first bunch using index okay now month list dot select by index index starts with zero i given to you then also I want to wait some time. Red dot sleep. Red dot sleep. 4000 milliseconds. This time. To select. Same October using value attribute. Month list dot select by value. What is the value? 10 is there. The value is different. Visible text is different. Index is different. The three options they give. So we have to give in double quotes 10. Okay. Now see how it is going to exist.
the values are selected like that. Let me run once again. Okay, well, like this going to select. Now, there is one more method here. Get first selected option. What is the use of that get first selected option means? To read the selected value from the drop down. Now, if I open this one. So, if I click on create new account which month is already selected this value i want to read how we can read this we have to go for the get first selected option using this method we can read selected value from static drop down what is the syntax for that obj dot get first select option dot get text it will return selected option visible text from drop down now it's given something here create script to verify selected year as 2007 or not if not select the 2007 in a year drop down at facebook home page so whenever we are going to all of the scripts no so scenarios first you have to understand in this Facebook home page, what they say saying that verify is it 2007 already selected or not? It's not 2007. Now, what I need to do, then it has to select 2007 here. There is a requirement. So, how we can go for this? New class. Or drop down a demo for public static wide main system dot set property driver dot get a driver dot manage dot window then driver dot find element by dot link text then i go for thread dot string like this after i want to work on the year drop down so we have to configure this one to the selected class right Select year list equal to new again select of driver dot find element by dot ID of ID here is the copy.
that. So to read already selected value and which is selected in a year drop down. Year drop down. So how we can go for this? How we can go for this? To read value which is selected here drop now string here equal to here list dot get first selected option dot get text Then use if condition if year dot equals ignore case number numeric value no no need to string is by default go to so equals see this is a string value returns. How I can know the get text means say it in the string data type. Okay, equals okay two zero zero seven. Try expect then system dot out dot printer then expected month. already selected then system dot out dot print then have driver selected Record yet. Then how to select that? So year list is the object right? year list dot select by visible text. Two zero zero seven. Right. Parameters. Two thousand seven. It is selected. Okay. There is a another method, no last method here, which we have get options. What is that? Get options to read all the options from static drop down. We can use get options method. Get options to read all the options from static drop down. We can use get options method then get text to read visible text of each option in drop down we have right. 
now mercury to sublocation is there no i want to go for the mercury to sublocation here we have the one country drop down registration form country drop down how many values are there in this drop down i want to find how we can write the script for that. I want to write the script to find number of values available in the drop down. Just observe that. Two, three examples I'm going to show the same scenario here. Drop down, demo file. First to initialize the browser. And the URL I need to change. What is the URL here? Which I have. This is the URL. Copy it is. Paste. Lakshmi, are you able to follow concepts? Yes, sir. Okay. After this, I want to click on the register link. Anchor tag register. Driver dot find it by dot link text of register. Then thread dot sleep. Okay. After this thread dot sleep, country drop down. So create object. Country drop. How we can go for this? Select. Country list. Equal to. New. Select of. Driver dot. Find element by dot name now try to inspect the this country drop down right click on the element inspect name is country Now, to get all the options from drop down, how we can go for that country list, 
dot method is get options get options is going to return the of the elements in the list framework list web element then options list we have to import the java utility package you have to import for web element also you have to import the package like this then system dot out dot until then say that number of options or plus here options dot size optional size you have to use now see if i run it is Say the 264 items are there. Okay. Now what I want to do here, I want to print all the option names. Then how we can go for that to print all the options for each I'm going to for web element. For web element option from options, then system dot out dot printl and option dot method we have to use but get text we have to use. Now if I run each option visible text it will be displayed to you we go for the eclipse see that all the options are going to be displayed okay now this time what i want to do first scenario here more how to find the number of options availability the drop down the second scenario here how to print all the options in the console third scenario what i want to do here i want to i want to check my expected country name is available or not in the drop down if available i want to sell it i want to check expected country name is available or not in the drop down available it has to sell it otherwise it has to say that not available then what i will do here execution time i want to give the country name so i am going to use the scanner class scanner sc equal to new scanner of system dot in scanner sc equal to new scanner system dot in okay import the package for this after this scanner is equal new scanner of system dot in after that
system dot out dot println enter expected country name expected country name you have to enter so here string to read the value string expected country equal to scanner class dot next line then we can go for one temporary variable i'm going to use by giving that boolean my status equal to false my status equal to false after that i am reading the each value now what i will do number of values are not required just i want to take the one by one value so string actual value what i get expected country actual country it will read after reading this one i'm going to compare if actual country dot equal signal case no maybe space is there i want to remove that space also sometimes i'm going to get the leading trailing spaces what that i'm going to the trim dot equal signal case of expected country now it is matches suppose if it is matches what i want to do here so instead of trim here directly i can write here itself get text dot trim okay now in the matches So I need to select country list dot select by visible text of actual country. If available, it has to select. If selected, I want to display that one also. System dot out dot println expected country name exist expected country name exist expected country name exist then whatever temporary variable I used here. Now condition satisfies means my status true I want to my status equal to true. So after that suppose fifth item is matching means no need to go for the all the other 240 items no need to go for the comparison. I want to go for the break. Time nation I want. So now suppose uh, this block is not executed. What is the meaning of the else spot? You should not write here. Then you have to go for the if. If 
my status still it is showing false what is the meaning of that this block is not executed then block is not executed meaning what is that system outdoor printl name that expected country does not exist expect country does not exist save it is run i am going to give the india Now see my select. What says to you? Eclipse also expect under name exist. Now suppose if I give the some other name which is not available. So now I given here. Only in one two three. Very important one. Most of students are going to write. So else spot they are going to do. else spot if they written what will happen is first time not matching else spot going to execute second while not matching else that means other than the 260 one time remain 263 times says that not aware not matching not match that is not correct we have to go for the else spot you should not write here so we have to go for like this then he there is a reason on flag concept flag where concept are going to come but to conduct satisfies you have to go for the, otherwise you have to go for the like this like okay try these examples monday will continue the remaining talk okay thank you but as a little bit later i joined so monday eight o'clock i am going to start please thank you sir